What's going on guys? I'm back here with something I think you're really gonna like, so let's do it. So I am very excited to be making this video. Um, haven't made a video in a little while, so this is kind of a special one here to kind of bring it all back. This is a new Chris Reeve that I have recently purchased. I just got this in yesterday. Um, so we're making this video pretty fresh here. You'll get to see my first impressions and my overview of this small Sebenza 31 unique graphic in drop point with a hematite uh, cabochon, I think is what they're calling it. I think that's what they call them, the little stone inlay. I don't know, I've never had one before. Um, S45VN on the blade. Let's get this guy opened up here. As always, the uh, Chris Reeve packaging is super cool. I really appreciate the way they do it. They've got the standard literature here, little birth certificate, 2022. This guy's pretty darn new. And we've got our nice microfiber cloth. Of course, they always uh, come with the fluorinated grease and the special you know, little Loctite bottle here and the uh, appropriate hex wrench. Pretty cool. They uh, definitely do a good job with that. So let's just push this aside. Now this guy came with this really cool little think twice, cut once, Chris Reeve uh, leather sheath, which I don't really see myself using that often, but it's pretty cool besides just to do this little kind of reveal if I could get the knife out of here. There he is. Just stunning work on the front face of this guy. Very, very cool. This is a, um, this is a SHOT Show 2022 unique graphic, like special edition, I guess. I don't know, they did it for SHOT Show 2022. And um, I know they did a large version of this as well, um, in the large 31. I'm not sure if they made more than one of these. Someone tell me if I'm wrong in the comments, but from what I've read, it seems like uh, there's only one of these around, and I think, well, now it seems like I have it. But I think there's also a large version. But I could be wrong. Maybe they made multiple. Um, but basically, they put this really nice uh, milled, unique graphic on here, and it almost looks like there's little rivets in there, but they're they're actually just little milled, like deep milled rings. The little, the little tiny dots, it's a little tiny little ring. And then it has the kind of the spiral pattern going in those concentric circles, concentric circles. And then the hematite inlay there, super cool dark stone. Um, it's some kind of iron mineral. I'm not exactly sure of the composition. I read it, but I quickly forgot it. Very, very high polished um, handle here on this side. This side is your standard. CRK Sandblast, which I really like. I don't know if you can hear that on the camera, but I like the way that sounds when you run your hand across it. It has a nice texture and it makes that kind of a cool sound. Um, my other, my Micarta, well, I'm gonna show it in a second, but the Micarta large Sebenza that I have doesn't really make that sound because it's got the inlay. So I really like that. Um, but yeah, just uh, I just like to soak in how, how good this thing looks. Um, in terms of specs, so on the small Sebenza, on the small Sebenza 31, I, I think the 21 is the same, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, the blade is uh, 2.94 inches, so just under that three inch mark, which is pretty nice. Um, it definitely seems a lot smaller than the large, and I'll show it in a second, but it's, it's still substantial. Um, the weight is exactly three ounces which I think is a really good weight for this knife. It feels very light, um, but it's still substantial. Like it's not bug out light, you know, but in, in this case, I prefer it to have a little bit of weight to it. So I think three is, is pretty perfect. Um, I believe the handle is about four inches or just under four inches. So we're looking at very close to seven inches overall length. Now, the thing that I really like, really, really like about this is despite its small size, it is extraordinarily comfortable for three reasons. Well, maybe there's more, but there's three main reasons. One, the obvious, uh, the finger hole cutout. My finger fits in there absolutely perfectly. It like 
the the middle seg segment of my finger here fits perfectly in this top cutout, and then the you know the the front part of my the front segment of my finger fits perfectly in this bottom cutout. So it really sits in there nicely. Secondly, the jimping and the thumb ramp. So my thumb has a really nice comfortable spot on there. It really locks in. It's not going to go anywhere. The jimping is not too aggressive, but it's it's uh, it's pretty perfect. And then lastly, if you notice. I end up saying this a lot, but it's especially true for this knife. The uh, scoop on the clip fits right in the crook of my middle finger. Like, absolutely perfectly. You can see it right there. And so those three things, coupled with the fact that I can still get four fingers on this handle, it really makes it sit in there perfectly. So, I like that a lot. Um, Carry-wise, it's actually pretty comfortable. I like this clip more than I thought I would. I'm also liking the lanyard more than I thought I would. I've never been a lanyard guy, never done it before, but I really like it on this guy. It sticks out out of the pocket a little bit more. It makes it easier to grab, and I think it looks kind of cool. So we'll see. We'll see if that changes in time, but I'm leaving it for now. Um, the blade is S45VN. Um, I think they say they harden it between 60 and 62, which I think is absolutely good to go. Um, so that guy should keep a nice edge. <laughs> Uh, the factory edge obviously came extremely sharp, so I'm really, really happy about that. They put a really nice high polished satin on this one, which is different from my other 31. And so it's just gorgeous the way it looks. And then it also complements the satin on the uh, handle there. So let's go ahead and compare it to the large. And I can't really get it to sit well. But just to show the size difference there. So the large has... Um, <clears throat> three and a half inch blade, maybe slightly, slightly longer than three and a half inches. Um, so it is substantially longer. Um, and you can see there, it's also at least an inch or more longer on the handle, probably about an inch more on the handle. So you're looking at about a half inch longer on the blade and about an inch longer on the handle. This version is also significantly heavier. Um, I think not only because of the size, but because the Micarta inlays and the inlays also contribute to the, uh, thickness. So it is, it's much thicker than the, than this small with the unique graphic. That's the other thing I like about the unique graphic instead of the inlay is that it does not contribute any extra weight or any extra width on the knife. Um, oh, also I want to compare it to another knife that is very similarly sized. Um, the Benchmade Valet. So if you look, uh, the blades are both just shy of three inches, and the handles are almost identical. I think the, the Sebenza has a slightly longer handle, uh, which makes it much more comfortable to carry. Um, the other big difference is um, you have a, a nice, like a deeper hollow grind on the Sebenza compared to this sort of shallow flat grind on the Valet. Um, so I think the Sebenza is going to be a much better cutter. Um, despite also, I think, looking better. <laughs> um, I definitely like the little Valet, and the Valet is lighter um, with these stainless steel milled um, uh, skeletonized liners as well as the G10. Um, but yeah, the overall size is very comparable. It looks like the thickness is also very similar. So these two are very similar in size. Um, not going to do a full-blown comparison right now, maybe later on, but there's some key differences um, that kind of make me like this knife even uh, like even a plain Jane version I think but the axis lock is definitely nice but anyways that's a, a I think a good comparison um, but yeah I think I'm gonna try to wrap this video up now I don't want to go on too too long but suffice to say I absolutely love this thing so far um, used it a few times on just some light stuff probably not gonna be a hard hard user um, but I definitely am still gonna carry it um, Definitely going to be one of my absolute favorite knives. Oh, I guess I didn't really talk about the action much, but it does have a nice, glassy, smooth action. Um, it was a little stiff out of the box, um, but it's it's definitely starting to break in a little bit. I'm not quite, it's not quite as smooth, flickable as my large, and I think that's also because of the smaller blade. There's not as much weight on it, so I can sometimes get it. Not a huge deal for me because it is very, very comfortable to just smoothly open it the way a Chris Reeve should be. So there's that. Although I do tend to mark up the blade because of that nice satin. So I'm constantly wiping it. But still very worth it to me. Of course, I love that crown spine. I could talk about this all day long. So I'm going to end the video now. Probably do a long-term review on this down the road or some kind of comparison. So you will see it on the channel again. 
Anyways, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope this video was interesting um, and uh, stay tuned for more. Okay, thanks.